White flies are minute insects with powdery white wings that resemble small moths and belong to the insect order Hemiptera. They are not easy to notice, especially when they are not in groups, as a lone white fly appears like a tiny speck of dirt. They are usually found on the underside of leaves, and they readily fly when the plant is disturbed. The female white fly lay eggs on the undersides of plant leaves. The white fly has six life stages, the egg, the four nymphal stages, and the adult. The eggs hatch after about seven days into mobile crawlers. The crawlers settle at a feeding site and lose ability to walk. They feed on sap by inserting their mouth parts into the leaf. The nymphs remain in place to develop for about 16 days. Eventually, Winged adults emerge their cases, leaving empty skins on the leaf. White flies feed on sap by sucking from the plant's phloem in the stem and leaves, which damage plants, resulting to leaves turning yellow and wilting. White flies can also carry and spread plant viruses, which can further weaken and kill the infected plant. Furthermore, they also secrete honeydew, a sugar-rich sticky liquid which can cause sooty mold to grow on leaves and fruits. Early in the morning, I check the underside leaves of my plants for signs of white fly. I mix water and dishwashing liquid and gently rub the leaves clean of the white fly eggs and nymphs along with the white, fluffy, woolly material that the white flies produce. I also squish white flies that I see. The best way to control white flies is prevention. Checking plants regularly for signs of white flies can help us detect the problem early so we can prevent the white fly problem from getting out of control.